So yeah, another big drop from Anthropic, Claude Opus 4.5 just landed. And if you're anything like me, your feed probably blew up with screenshots, benchmarks, and yeah, a whole bunch of it's the best yet takes. Not gonna lie, I always squint a little when I see that kind of hype because honestly, solo dev life is all about what actually helps you ship, not just who claims what on the blog, but here's what actually caught my eye this time. They're saying Opus 4.5 is not just smarter and faster, it's three times cheaper. It handles agents and code better than ever, and it's rolling out everywhere. Web app, cloud code, all the cloud providers. Yeah, it's all in. Just real quick, I'm Daniel. I've been living in the iOS trenches for, what, eight years now? I started off freelancing, working with clients, figuring out what actually works, and honestly, what just burns you out. But after Dub Dub 25, I kind of flipped the switch and went all in on solo dev life. Since then, I've shipped over 10 of my own apps, started building in public, and right now, pretty much all my energy is going into Crafters Lab. It isn't just another tutorial site or some AI clone farm. This is my actual home base. It's for solo devs who want to use AI like a real teammate, not like a vending machine. So yeah, I'm keeping it short, but if you want your own solo command center and be part of the crew, that's what Crafters Lab is for. And yeah, if you're still on Patreon, massive thanks. But heads up, everything's moving over to crafterslab.dev. Honestly, if you want to get in and lock your membership before things get busy and before I roll out real pricing, now's the best time to join, for real. Come be part of the crew. All right, so let's just get real about this for a second because, you know, Every solo dev I know is always running the numbers in their head. You ever find yourself staring at a pricing page wondering, wait, am I actually going to save money this month or am I about to get clobbered by some hidden fee? That's kind of the vibe for a lot of us, right? So when Anthropic drops, yeah, it's three times cheaper now, five bucks per million input tokens, 25 for output. It honestly hits different. Like that's not just some random stat you can ignore. Suddenly you start thinking, wait, maybe I can actually run those longer sessions or throw bigger context windows at it and not feel guilty every time the token count jumps. And that's a real difference in how you build, not just some cute number for the blog post. But uh, here's the thing. And honestly, this is what matters for me way more than just being cheap. Opus 4.5 isn't just running up your tab to chase those wow benchmark numbers you look at how it's chewing through sweet bench terminal bench all the agenty um coding agent benchmarks and it's just i don't know it's smarter with the tokens uh, it's running the same gnarly coding tasks as the old sonnet 4.5 sometimes even better and it's using um, half the tokens sometimes even less so you end up with more sessions to play with less stress about burning through your quota. And honestly, you don't feel like you have to hold back every time you want to let Claude loose on something big. And yeah, sure, maybe it's not beating Gemini 3 Pro on every last metric, but honestly, who cares if the difference is just like a rounding error on a spreadsheet? What I care about is, can I actually trust this thing to do more with less? so I can get back to building and not just babysit my token count. That's the shift I see here. It's not just about who's got the biggest number. It's about whether it finally makes sense for solo devs to use these tools uh, without feeling ripped off or boxed in. And right now, yeah, Opus 4.5 actually feels like it gets that. So yeah, the fact that you can let Claude scan more of your code base or even just keep your flow going for a couple hours without sweating the bill that's real and you know it makes all the difference all right so this is where things get really interesting for anyone running ai agents or coding assistants anthropics now adding an effort parameter to the api basically you get to decide how hard claude tries it sounds tiny but for solo devs it's a game changer Here's what I mean. Sometimes I just want a quick answer, a rough fix, or a throwaway script to unblock me. Other times, I need that deep, no stone unturned pass, a refactor, a critical bug hunt, 
or just a sanity check on some wild logic before you either got um, whatever the model felt like or you had to beg it to take its time in the prompt. Now you can literally dial in how much brain power Claude uses per task. The wildest bit, even on full effort, Opus 4.5 is hitting higher scores than Sonnet 4.5 while using almost half the tokens. It means you get control. You get to tell the model, hey, go deep on this, but don't nuke my whole token window. And yeah, I actually trust the agent more because I know if I crank the effort, I'm going to get that extra layer of analysis. No more hand-holding. No more, uh, can you please double check your own answer? It just does it. This is what solo devs have needed. More control, less guesswork. Whether you're debugging, scaffolding, or letting Claude run sub-agents on big projects, being able to say, give this one more effort makes it feel way more like a real teammate, not just a magic vending machine. Okay, here's where I get a little nerdy, because for me, it's all about, can I actually trust this model to run my workflows without babysitting every step? Anthropic's leaning hard into agents and sub-agents now. They're literally showing off Opus 4.5, managing uh, a team of agents, handling uh, ambiguous tasks, making smart trade-offs and running for longer stretches without constant nudges. For me, this is the dream because the biggest pain as a solo builder is that moment when your agent just loses the plot. You hand it a multi-part coding task and five minutes later, it's hallucinating imports for getting files or just needing your input every two seconds. But Opus 4.5, it's actually handling longer more complex runs without that constant handholding. It gets where to go next. It understands ambiguity. And maybe the best part, it can now reason about trade-offs, not just try to solve everything the fastest way possible. I'm not saying it's perfect. No model is. But honestly, I'm seeing a shift. Opus 4.5 is less about showing off raw speed and more about showing real, coordinated, reliable, agent behavior. And for indie devs, that's what you want. Something that can take your Claude.md, your weird rules, your project quirks, and not break down halfway through a refactor. And on top of all that, you're getting longer context, better tool calling with programmatic search, CLI, even Word and Excel integration if you're into that kind of thing, and an upgraded desktop app experience. For the first time, it feels like Claude is growing into a genuine team in a box for solo devs who want real sustainable workflows, not just one-off code snippets. So yeah, if you're still here after all that, honestly, you're a legend, no joke. I mean, real talk. Opus 4.5 is finally one of those updates where I actually feel like, you know, solo devs got thrown a bone for once. The effort knob the whole vibe shift from demo tool to actual trustworthy teammate, it's kind of wild to see that in the AI space. I mean, you ever feel like you're just running in circles with new models, but then one actually lands? That's this. And honestly, if you're tired of agent roulette, switching tools, losing flow, wasting tokens on stuff that just doesn't fit how you build, maybe this is your cue to try something new, or at least go a little deeper. And yeah, check out crafterslab.dev. It's not just some tutorial dump. It's not another AI clone farm. It's honestly my home base. I built it for solo devs who treat AI like a real teammate, not just a button you smash when you're stuck. And you know, it's packed. You get full walkthroughs like actual short video tutorials, notes from the trenches, and yeah, straight up downloadable zips you can drop right into your project. That's just the start because the real core is the, the Notion team spaces, my live playbook, the real command center, all the dashboards for every app, agentready.md files, every weird prompt library, all the exact systems I use to keep my solo workflow moving with AI. There's a full curated Swift and Swift UI library in there too. Not just random files, but the actual stuff I use to fine tune models 
and build out my own custom MCPs for Claude Code, for Cursor, all of it. If you want to get your hands on the resources I actually rely on day to day, it's all sitting there, not just for watching, but for remixing into your own stack. And then, of course, there's Ops Lab. That's honestly my favorite part. It's where I build and share all my AI agent systems, Notion templates, the workflows, automations, all wired up and ready for you to copy, tweak, totally break, and make your own. The whole point is to keep the indie stack connected so you don't feel like you're building in a silo, even if you're solo at the keyboard. So yeah, if you wanna get in before it gets busy and prices start moving, now is kind of the sweet spot. The crew's still small, super hands-on, and honestly, it feels way more like a behind the scenes dev lounge than some giant faceless forum. Would love to see you in there, swap some stories, maybe even learn something from what you're building next. All right, thanks for hanging out with me. Keep building, keep experimenting. Peace.